Imagine I'm on Twitch, streaming a private Rocket League match with some friends, and Twitch chat has a way to mess with my boost meter. And they also have a way to change the behavior of bots in my game. It's possible. Hey, I'm Tyler. I'm one of the people who works on Arlbot. Normally we do custom Rocket League bots so people can learn how to program and have fun tournaments. We're making something new where you can use RLBot to control the game of Rocket League from Twitch. So you can let your Twitch chat mess with you or control bots or do all kinds of crazy stuff. This video will show you how to set this up for your own stream. So first off, you're going to need to get something called RLBot GUI. And we have an all new launcher script that will allow this setup to be a lot smoother than it would normally be. So I'm going to download it and let's just save this to our desktop and this script will install and launch so you just keep this here and uh, run it whenever um, you have to dismiss the security warning this is open source so you can check into it if you're concerned about safety and what this is doing is installing python 3.7 for me this is a one-time setup so it takes a little bit longer than usual right now if you already have Python 3.7, it'll use it. Um, and it'll be careful not to mess up your existing installation. But for this test run, we're going to install. I don't have to click anything, it's just doing its thing. And then when this is done, it'll set up a Python virtual environment to make sure it doesn't mess up any existing Python stuff you've got. And then it'll go ahead uh, and install a few Python packages and finally open up Arlbot GUI. And before I get into all the Twitch control stuff, I'm going to just do a little checkpoint here and make sure that Arlbot GUI works as intended once it pops up. That way, if you're following along, you can uh, find that moment to troubleshoot if you need to. All right, and there we go. So this is Arlbot GUI. Um, just to see if it works, we're going to throw ourselves against a Cyanix bot. Normally, we'd have custom bots, but I'm not going to show you how to get those quite yet. So the idea is you click Start Match, and then uh, Rocket League opens up. Make sure you start with Rocket League closed, because when Rocket League opens up, we're doing it with a special flag that allows our little API to connect to it. This should automatically throw us into a game against some Psionic spot. Okay, so if this works for you, then you have been lucky enough to have a successful setup. Let's go ahead and shut that down. We'll click stop. All right, so now we're going to move on to the good stuff. Um, letting Twitch control, oh, lots of different things about the game. So let me close this down for now. And next thing I'm going to do is show you how to get the special scripts that you need to control Twitch. Um, I'm going to go to my Arlbot Twitch broker repository. And this is going to simulate um, maybe somebody sending you a script or you building your own or something like that. They're probably going to give you a zip file. So I'm going to download this zip as being similar to something someone might give you. And make sure you trust them, of course. You're basically running random code. So uh, if you think they might be malicious, do not open and run this zip from them. All right, well, that's downloaded. Let's show this in the folder. I'm going to throw this on my desktop just because. And I'm a cool dude who has 7-zip, so I'll extract it to right here. So now it just showed up. I got this folder. So now, if I open up Arlbot GUI again, and it'll be much faster this time, mercifully. I'm going to hit the plus button. 
and I'm going to load folder and this thing pops up it's kind of off screen so you have to click on it and I'm going to go desktop and this new folder I just extracted okay so it just loaded in some scripts the critical one that you need is twitch chat broker that kind of sits in the middle and makes everything fit then there's two other scripts you can turn them you can turn boost monkey on boost monkey can give players boost or take it away either humans or bots it's kind of neat an action bot is a bot that people in twitch chat twitch chat can control um, you'll notice that there are some little warning icons here if you click this it's going to tell you hey there's some packages you haven't installed yet. So I'm going to go ahead and click install now. And you can see that working in the background. So that's successful. I'm going to do that for all of these. Some of them will be redundant, so it'll go faster. Now, unfortunately, the little triangles don't go away right away so I'm gonna shut this down and open it back up again and the yellow triangles should be gone okay nice all right now that we got rid of those warning icons there's one more thing we have to do if you go to twitch chat broker and show files there's a file missing here we have to add and it's going to be twitch.oauth txt and we'll open this up and you need to get a secret token for yourself there's something called the uh, twitch chat OAuth password generator let's just go back to uh, go around the horn um, you'll probably have to click connect and then you'll sign in and it'll give you this so you just copy this don't give this out to anybody otherwise they can kind of take control of your chat in a pretty gross way. Save that. And once this is in place, then this thing will be able to start up correctly. And please don't steal mine. All right, so let's put um, a human in the game. We'll start the match and let's see how this functions. Uh, and of course, to see the magic, we really need to get OBS involved. So Rocket League starts up like it did before. And apparently it's just me in here, that's fine. So let's take a look at OBS. What we're gonna wanna do is add a browser source. And we're gonna say, uh, Twitch broker or whatever. Already in use. Okay, not that. Twitch broker two. Thanks. Um, and the URL is going to change. We're going to do a local file. We'll click browse. And we're going to go back to that folder we had on the desktop where Twitch broker lives. And now we have an overlay folder. This is the same folder we had the OAuth thing. We're going into overlay and then this HTML file right here. And you can refresh cache, and I don't know, it'll, it's fine. Okay, so for me, a little overlay thing popped up right here. It might not be there for you because you haven't run it yet, so don't worry if it's totally missing. We'll deal with that in a second. I'll make this a little bit bigger. And of course, you can't see the game. Um, let me just turn on the game briefly so you can see what that would look like. Hello, there it is. Um, I'm gonna turn this back off again, otherwise you won't be able to see what the heck is going on. But the, uh, the overlay just hangs out right there. And um, before I get rid of it, I'll show you more about it. If somebody types YH1 in your chat, then I get full boost. Or now they could type uh, MH2, and my boost is gone. That's the way it would look on your live stream. The reason for these little codes is that if somebody has a stream delay and the menu changes, um, then we, we know still exactly what they're talking about. 
the menu might change if players are joining the game or if there's certain actions that are contextual based on you know where the ball is that type of thing so that's why that's there okay so we've got that overlay working fantastic um, I'm gonna turn the game feedback off so you can see what I'm doing uh, great so uh, we're doing this based on these toggles. So Twitch Broker was on, Boost Monkey was on. You can also have bots that are uh, controlled by Twitch chat. So let's start a match like this. And we'll get OBS out of here for the moment. Actually, we're gonna bring it back, just kidding. Um, so let's see the game again. So now we're looking at these boost monkey options, we also have all these options from ActionBot, our friend ActionBot. So if I were to do something like um, chat in Twitch to go, EN7, then he's gonna start going. And there's other commands you can turn right, turn left. And these are defined inside the bot, so any bot could define all kinds of different actions than this that could be more complex, like take a shot, rotate it back on defense, whatever. And then, of course, Boost Monkey still works. We can give him boost XJ1. That's all just coming in through Twitch chat. Okay. So let's get the game back out of here. Um, if you're a streamer, that's pretty much all you got to know. Um, you are probably going to be looking for more scripts to customize for whatever experience you're trying to give your viewers. You can come on by um, rlbot.org and we got this Discord server. You can click into it. There's lots of people there, lots of talented programmers who can help you out. Uh, learn to code yourself or they might be willing to uh, customize a script for you so you can interact with your viewers just the way you want. If you have any trouble with this, drop by the Discord and we'll help you out. And stay tuned for the next video if you want to learn how to make your own bots and scripts. Thank you.